Forgiveness is the basis of relationship. So let's go back to Matthew 18 and look. Then Peter approached him, and here's what he said. Lord, how many times must I forgive my brother or my sister who has sinned against us? Now look at this answer. How many times? Se seven times, Peter says? I tell you, not as many as seven, Jesus replied, but 70 times seven. Um, Sharon and I have been married for 31 years. You know what? We get a lot of people that ask us, how in the world have you guys made this work for 31 years? Like, I just got to be honest. They think it's really weird and or strange that we seem very happy and still in love. So they're like, how are you guys doing this? And here's what I tell you. There's a lot of things that make a marriage work, right? But here's number one. You have to be willing to forgive. Like, that's it. Like, you want to know the secret sauce to, rec to relationship? You're going to have to be willing to forgive someone. Because here's what I promise you. You're going to get offended. And oh, by the way, you're going to offend other people. So Sharon's been forgiving me for the same things for like hundreds of times, right? Like, we've all experienced this. But I want you to know that we also experience this in our relationship with God. See, for we are the one who did all the sinning, and God is the one who did all the forgiving. So this passage we just read, it starts with Peter asking, like, how many times he should forgive someone of the same offense? And notice what he says, seven times? Now, by the way, uh, for those of you who know the Old Testament, I'm going to share this in just a second. We almost think like our boy Peter is growing, <laughs> like he's maturing, he's developing, because seven would have been the day of creation. Seven is the day of completion. Matter of fact, there's a proverb that says, if, you, if a righteous man falls down seven times, so you're almost like, Peter, man, you've been having your quiet times. Like, you've been soaping the word, Peter. Like, wow, this is great. Because here was the teaching of that day makes what Peter says even more important. The teaching of that day was this. That if someone offended you, right, and you had to seek out to give them forgiveness, the, the Old Testament thought, the teaching of those days was this, that you would forgive them three times. Three was the limit. It, it, it's almost like an umpire has like a, a pitch count, has like the ball strikes and the outs, and like someone forget, boom, that's out one. You got two more to go. All right, that's out two. You got what? Oh, out three, I'm done forgiving. On the fourth time, you didn't have to forgive. So, by the way, Sharon and I would have been married like 31 days if that would have been the case, right? So Peter here, I want you to see this. Like, he's really stretching himself. He, he's saying like, here's what I think. I, I can maybe like, I can maybe muster up like seven forgiveness. Like seven. I can forgive someone seven. Like, is that enough? But notice this. Jesus is going to up the ante, right? Jesus' answer is more like, no, uh, 70 times seven. Now, again, for those of you doing quick math, that, that doesn't even mean that Jesus is upping the quota to now it's 490, right? No, it's beyond that. It, it's like, you, 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 you don't reach 491 and then that person's you know, off the hook and you never have to forgive that person. No. It, it's a very Jesus way of saying this. Like there's no limits when it comes to forgiveness. Like we don't keep count. Like there's not a scoreboard. There's no magical number, and then you get to write that person off. By the way, here's the great question this morning. What number would we want until God wrote us off? I think it's the 70 times 7, right? Like, let's stick with that. 